all of your monitoring for all of your VMs, scale sets, arc VMs, it's all going to break on August 31st of this year, unless you can follow these three simple steps very carefully. Now what's going on is that the log analytics agent that does all of that monitoring data collection is being deprecated. So we need a replacement. So we're going to be looking to the Azure monitoring agent or AMA for short. And the thing is, it's not quite as simple as remove the one and install the other. And that's because they really don't work the same. So let me show you how we fix this. Step one is we need some help. Here in the Azure portal, go to the Azure monitor and then go to workbooks on the left and scroll down. Then click on the Azure monitor migration helper. At the top, make sure that you've got all of your subscriptions and workspaces selected. Then scroll down just a bit and you have multiple tabs to help you through this process. And we've got the details here in this overview across all of your subscriptions, work groups and workloads. Now, if you scroll down to the migration section at the bottom, this breaks things down into your resource types. And if you scroll to the right, you can see your current migration status. Now we know how much work we actually need to do. So scroll back up and click on the workspaces tab. Select a single workspace here, and you can see here all of the different log analytics agents and VMs that are connecting to this workspace, along with all those legacy solutions that this workspace is providing for you, and which recommended new solution you need to move to. And you can also click here to look at any existing Azure Monitor data collection rules, and that's going to be critical going forward. Now, because this is a really big change, I don't suggest you do everything all at once. Set up a test group first so you understand the process and the way all of that new monitoring data will look, but don't take too long because August will be here faster than you expect. And now we can move on to step two, data collection. Now, if you've been using log analytics for years like I have and you have a lot invested in it, you're probably worried that it would take forever to actually move all of that stuff over and copy everything just right so the data collection rule is doing what log analytics is already doing for you. And you'd be right. And that's why we have a script for this. Now this doc is linked in the video description and all you need to do is download it, copy the rest of this code and then open PowerShell. Add your subscription, resource group, workspace name, the name for the new data collection rule and a location where you wanna output the ARM template files. Then just kick off the script and you'll have the finalized JSON file that's going to do everything for you. Just open that file and copy all of its contents, then go back to the Azure portal and search at the top for deploy a custom template. Click over here to build in the editor and then just paste everything in and hit save. Now we can just kick off the build and in a few minutes, your data collection rule will now grab everything that your log analytics was doing for you. Now just rinse and repeat for all of the different workspaces that you need to migrate from. And then, believe it or not, we're ready for step three, the agents. Now how exactly you do this can depend a little on your choice. You can remove all of the legacy agents right now and just make a cutoff date for all the new monitoring, or you can have them both running at the same time, collecting the same data. Just understand that you will be paying for double storage, at least for a little while, and then you can do your cutovers as you want to. But again, August is coming fast. Just sign into Windows, go to your AdRemove programs and find the Microsoft Monitoring Agent. Then just uninstall. Now, of course, doing that one at a time is crazy if you've got thousands of VMs. So once you're ready to do this at scale, you want to download here the MMA removal tool, unzip it, update all of your variables like the doc tells you. And then you want to run it and you'll discover everything using these commands. And once you've got all of that data, then run these different commands and that'll remove everything. And then you've got other commands here to do the cleanup. So now that we're out with the old, how do we get the new in there? Well, the manual way would be to go to Azure Monitor, open your data collection rule, go to resources, and then you wanna add all the VMs from any subscription anywhere that would use this DCR. And if you just have a few VMs, you're good to go. But if you have a whole lot, here in the Azure policy section, we can actually use something called an initiative. And in there, we would have different policy assignments that would take your brand new VMs that you're gonna build and add them to the right DCR automatically. Just click assign up here. You wanna select the proper subscription scopes and then click next. And if you need to, you can narrow the scope down even further and just add a resource type or location if you want to. But if you don't, this will just apply to all VMs in that subscription. 
Now, if you already have a managed ID in your environment that you're comfortable with using that already has the VM contributor permissions, you can just use that. Otherwise, set this to false. Now, as for the DCR's ID, this one's a little tricky. So open another tab and go back to the Azure monitor and find your DCR. Now, you wanna click up here on the JSON view. Then your DCR ID is right at the top. Copy that and go back to the policy and just paste it right here and click next. Now you can check this box for remediations, which is gonna look at any VMs that exist or any ones that you build in the future that fail to apply the policy and it will apply it again and hopefully this time it works. And the individual policy you want is gonna be the last one here on the list and then create. And that's it, three simple steps. And we've got all of our monitoring now going to the Azure monitoring agent. And you don't have to worry about the end of August, except for all of these other things that you need to learn about in this video. Happy learning.